you ever wonder what it'd be like not to be famous? You've been famous. So how old were you when you got Doogie Howser? 15 turning 16. Well, what's it like when you're 15 and then all of a sudden, you, I guess Stephen Bochco is the guy who created Doogie Howser. Yeah. Uh, he hires you. How many people did you have to audition against? Probably half the universe of kids, right? I auditioned for that really early on in the in the process, and then um, they auditioned a ton of other people, and then finally came back around to me. Not sure why. And then you go and you become this Doogie Howser, and it was like <laughs> the biggest show ever. I mean, I remember watching that show every week. It was such a touching, warm that was a good show. little show, right? It was unreal. Did you freak out? Did your personality change? Did you start to become an asshole for a while? Because <laughs> you don't strike don't me think as an so. asshole. I, was, you know? I went through puberty so late, you know, that I felt I always felt so much smaller than everybody physically. Yeah. That when I was on the TV show, I didn't really feel like this macho guy. You know what I mean? I didn't feel like I my shit didn't stink really. Yeah, I was it, working. It was a tr crazy little life. Yeah, and but, I was in high school, so I had to do three hours of work at school and homework and the series itself. It was a lot of work. When the show was over, I forget how many seasons that lasted. We did four. Four seasons. Yep. When that thing's over, do you go into your own depression? Because at that point, you're like 19, 20 years old, and you're, you're looking at a future where, hmm. hey, I've been on TV like for four years. I'm a kid. Now what do I do? Did you panic at all? Um... No, I realized that that was such a kind of fucked up name that that kind of stuck around with me for a while. And what, the I, Doogie Howser yeah, name? Yeah, just that yeah. name. You know, it being was, called was, that everywhere you go was when, at, when you're that age and you're trying to find some kind of identity unique to yourself and you're being called something that was for a role that you've finished. And people were calling you Doogie. Yeah, that it's, was, a, it's a shitty name, isn't it? Doogie <laughs> Howser. Name. It really is. <laughs> Couldn't have been named Thunderbolt or right, something or cool like Fons that. Or the Fonz, or anything would have been cooler, right? Yeah, Doogie Howser yeah, was not cool. It's not like I didn't appreciate it because right. I played him. Right. But um, for those years when you're normally in college and you're able to like change who you want to be given a, in any given week. You want to be goth one week, or you right. want to go crazy another week, or no, get you're stupid, you wasted were drunk. You were I was stuck. doogie everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, right. So I just had to trust that. And actually, Stephen Bochco gave me some really sage advice. When the f show just started, and I was not even 16 years old, he said that this is going to be a great wave. You'll love it. You'll ride it. It'll inevitably crash, and you'll have to decide whether you want to get back on the board and paddle back out. And in doing so, you're going to get nailed by other waves, which will knock you over. You'll eventually get out there and sit up on the board, but you're going to have to wait for another set to come in. And there's lots of sets, and they'll keep coming at you, but you're going to have to have the perseverance to know that that there's, there's time that'll have to pass between those sets.